Hello everybody and welcome to another Chaos Theory. We're back at it again. In the last video we completed Site B, East of Sona, Jurassic Park 3's Chaos Theory, which you all know how that went, me being losing my mind. But today's going to be a much more exciting video because we are starting the creme of the creme for most people. Sorry, I'm being interrupted by my dog. She's just, you know, oh, yeah, yeah, you're recording, blah, blah. Who cares? I want to sleep. Anyway, before I was interrupted by the graciousness of Her Majesty, we are doing Jurassic World. Build Jurassic World with Simon Mizrani. Succeed where Jurassic Park couldn't. Just be careful what you create. Oh, I promise I will make as many hybrids as I need to, Johnny boy. Well... I mean, actually, I originally thought that the what if was going to be like, what happens if you were able to stop the Indominus Rex Rampage before the point of, you know, Jurassic World was closed. But no, it turns out we're just going to be building Jurassic World itself, which, again, isn't really a what if scenario. But, you know, I'm still excited for it. It's going to be interesting, and the music is grand, and I think we can start... Hold wait. Sorry guys, I just wanted to check to see if the audio was going because I didn't want it just to be complete silence because that happened once while recording, but let's go. Jurassic World begin. This is where our journey continues. And for many, where theirs came to an end. Is not new block. This time it's not just a park. It's a world. Simon Mizrani believed he could succeed others before him failed. Maybe if he had you there to guide him, things would have turned out differently. Jurassic World is to be the most desirable destination on the planet. Give us a mo- Ooh. Exhibits. Ooh. Dinosaurs too. The miracles of science meets the magic of entertainment. That's a bad idea. Content with letting you see dinosaurs. No. Being put smack dab in the middle of them. And why stop there? The hope. And who's afraid of a little water? But what's swimming in that water? Well, <laughs> that's another story. And if that's not enough, what about the dinosaurs nature didn't create? Well, Ian, that, that's going to be interesting because, well, that's going to be fun making Indominus. I have seen Indominus Rex because I'm working on a battle royale that involves Indominus Rex. Spoiler alert, it's Indominus Rex vs. Indoraptor. And, well, I haven't really gotten to see Indominus, so maybe we'll get to make it, hopefully, please. Hold on to your butts. And I, they changed a lot of images from the movie, and we didn't get to see the Margarita guy, unfortunately, you know. Priorities. John Hammond had his vision, and I have mine. Jurassic World, 100 Isla Nublar, 120 miles west of Costa Rica. His passion combined with my business savvy, it would have been quite the team. Oh, what a view! It was not to be, and I was left to pick up the pieces of what might have been and turn it into what should have been all along a premier world class tourist destination. The only place on the planet. Where you can experience dinosaurs up to I'm glad we got the Kauai Mountains. Where's the full skeleton, damn it? I won't get over that, guys. It's been two months, but I'm still gonna beg for that. Very nice. So, let's see the map. Hold on, let's pause. I want to see the map size. Oh, oh, we got Cabot back. I was missing him. Do we need a science center? Oh, there's the control center. Oh, it's out of the map. I want to put it, like, over here, like... We'll have all the research stuff, like, right in this area. But, wow, so... Now, hold on. We're paused, so let's take a look at the map. I mean, I can see where... This is where the lagoon would go, which... 
I don't know, I might make this as like a big enclosure for dinosaurs because I'm planning on doing a Jurassic World recreation soon for like a sandbox playthrough. So we probably won't do the lagoon here because this just looks so good actually right here. You know, we could change it up a little bit, but the water's already placed. Just need to add some food. And wow, this map is huge. I think it's bigger than Germany. Maybe by a little, maybe it's a little smaller, but it's definitely going to be the best sandbox map. Which kind of is unfortunate because like, you know, it's tropical and we're used to seeing that. Except, whoa. Okay, I did not realize how close those were, and that looks so good. They're, you can't even get them in shot. That's awesome. Never mind, I'm, I'm liking this map a lot more. So construct a science center, but can we get a power station? No, we can't, but do we have researchers? Like, at least enough to get them. No, we need to bu hire some more. Oh yeah, there's the big girl. Indominus Rex, what do we need? We need Carnotaurus, yes, that's correct. Velociraptor, progress the mission, blah blah, whatever mission that's going to be. T-Rex and Giga. I'm glad they in included Giga, because we know it is. It's um, interesting, we don't have Majungasaurus on there. Is it even one that we can make? Yeah, it, okay, that's strange, because Majungasaurus is a dinosaur that's in its DNA. Weird. Okay, well, back to power. No, no, power. We need the power. I've got the power. What do you mean? Oh. Uh, the greatest weapon against us. Paths. There we go. Now. Things are taking shape. But we need a response facility. First, I will get this, because this will be very useful. Okay, you, you, there you go. Speed that up, and now what do we need? Okay, so we need response facility, which we need to research, and paleomedical facility. So after the power, we'll get that. We'll definitely build the Rex, Rex's kingdom right here. There's no question about that. That's going here still. This could be like... Maybe the herbivore sanctuary, like, you know, the gyrosphere ride, except, you know, it's right on Main Street. And then we could have, like, an aquatic zone, like, maybe here on this side. And then over here we could have the aviary. Yeah, that, that would work. Now let's go. Yeah, I got this figured out for the layout. And, guys, I did mention, like, I asked you guys, I think it was in the sandbox one, whether or not you wanted me to do, uh, what's it called? Um, if you want me to do... Oh, I, I lost my train of thought. Right, if you want me to complete this and as well as San Diego. Now, for San Diego, I've decided not to because everybody's seen that. Like, it's the one that everybody got to watch so much. But for this, I want to do this as a full playthrough. We'll do it in between whatever sandbox series we are going to do, which... I think might be our recreation of Jurassic World. I know, I know. Paleo rewards. Oh, we need one more scientist employed. I see. Uh, I'm losing train of thought again. So what we'll do is this will be the one episode. After this will come Fallen Kingdom, which I'm recording right after this. And then what we'll do is I'm going to start whatever sandbox series I want to, which probably will be... It won't be the Biological Preserve. I know a lot of you still want are mentioning that. That will be coming eventually, just not yet. I'm planning on that for, like, after I do my first series. Because I want to try out, like, all the materials in the game first. Before, like, I go on to the Biological Preserve. I think you guys can understand that. Because, you know, if I do the Biological Preserve, it's only going to be focused on the dinosaurs part of things. And not, you know, the tools in the game. So, we'll wait on that. Okay, so, Paleo Medical Facility, which that'll go here. And then we should, we should probably flatten all this, like, this area, which we'll probably need space for a few more. Like, what's up? And Kylosaurus... Hold on, I was running. Okay, so we got Ankylosaurus, Triceratops, and T-Rex. Okay, so T-Rex is going here. We'll build that last. 
this will be where they all go. And I know Ankylosaurus and Triceratops are okay with each other, I believe. So what we'll do is start with right on main sh well actually no I'm gonna do a nice trick with the path so we get more viewage alright and we're gonna circle around right a little more there I wanna try and make it as good looking as possible guys cuz you know OCD alright viewing gallery one will go right in the middle <laughs> And let's see, how big is that? Yeah, that's gonna be, that'll be fine for sauropods as well, I'm pretty sure. Maybe Brachiosaurus can go here as well. And it doesn't take up too much of the map. It's definitely gonna be the main feature here, apart from Rexy's Kingdom, which speaking of which, for now we're going to use a small amenity here. And we'll have a path here, which will go to the T-Rex Kingdom, so. For now, I will just, I'll change it later probably, but for now, we'll put this here. Parents, be aware, this show may be disturbing for smaller children. Oh yeah, and we love it. Oh wait, this is electrified? Okay, that's a bad thing. Now, all we'll need to do is just build all, well, for the Ankylosaurus and Triceratops, we don't need to do anything. Oh, all right. Uh, I, I would. It's a shame that um they couldn't get a better. Vo like I'm not saying that the person who's doing this bad. I don't even know who's doing this. Could be just someone who's working at Frontier, but he just doesn't sound like Mazrani at all. Like they did the best that they could. Oh, and Kylosaurus is ready. So let's go. Plunk them right in the middle. And we'll. First, get rid of these because I don't want them here. They just no power. I don't know. Oh, it's because it's being assembled. Right, right. Okay, so transport dinosaur, and then we're gonna pause for a second because we need to add gates. I do remember that. So we'll have a gate. Hopefully there's enough room. Yes, there is. And we'll need an opening in the trees here for you to just go through. Like, just a small one. Right there, that should be fine. And then we'll need one of these to get like the best view, so. Right there should be fine. Ranger Team 1. No, no. Ranger Team 1 will be assigned to this. And. Damn it, we can't check. And Tricert. Well, T Rex will just force this up for the most part. Probably won't need too much for us. And then in the middle, we'll just have some water. And then feeders. We've only got f we've only got this for now. We'll need a T-Rex to land in order to get that. And we'll need a gate over here. Which will give a ranger team. The opportunity to go here and then we are good to let the t-rex come and speed it up and ranger teams are on the move oh wow they are he's like i've gotta go da, 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 da. he'll need sand i know t-rex needs sand so let's get a load of sand and it's the nice sand that's good to see well if this is all sandy All right, Rexy, there you go. Live prey. 
Of course, we will add that. We'll add it right in front. Now let's see how you look. Hmm. So they changed the skin. It's a different skin from... Returning to base. No, you are coming to inspect my T-Rex. Now what's wrong with the Triceratops? They are missing ground fiber completely. I see. Don't worry. I will get you your ground fiber. We'll put it right over here. And then we'll check the Ankylosaurus. Where is an Ankylosaurus? There you are. Missing ground fruit and ground leaf. No problem. We'll put the ground... Well, actually, no. We'll put the gr tall leaf here. That'll be better. Open space. You will have open space. Don't worry. And then... I don't know how this is affecting your open space. Like, you just need to spread out more. Now, for T-Rex, how are you? Ah, uh, there we go. We got a good look at you in the daylight. Let's slow it down. So, how do you look? Ah, so they've changed the model. It's no longer the 1993 Rex. Which, I guess is understandable. Because, you know, they didn't look the same in the movies. Even though Dominion's making it look very similar. Now, how's this coming? Oh boy, music's getting grand. Alright, so that's donuts. So we'll need drink. And then we'll need shopping. And then a restroom, which will leave us space to do probably mediums here. Which, now the Ankylosaur should be fine if they spread out. They just need to spread out. Like, they are happy, it's just that they're not reading as completely comfortable. Oh yeah, let's speed this up, you know. We don't need to wait forever. At least you're content. You're the- whoa, whoa. What are you doing? Jurassic World is the envy of the world. Where else can one travel to see wonders such as these? And they must be seen. So do what you can to increase our dinosaur visibility. We'll keep it out of the way, because, like, we don't have a security section here, which is something we will change, of course. Ah, yes. Open the park. Yeah, we need to go to the loo. Open Jurassic World. Welcome to Jurassic World. And it's looking pretty good already. Oh, Woo's back. Hello, my dear Wu. Are we getting cutscene? Nope, we're just getting cabin. Oh, there. Oh, there we go. Jurassic World. Da 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 da. da. Wonder what John Hammond would think of all this. Uh, well, he'd think you guys disrespected him in a way. Because he realized that the dinosaurs shouldn't be on display. Hmm. Well, that's interesting music. It's sort of like the music from the film, but alter. Okay, so increase gifts comfort to ninety percent. We want to ensure that our guests are having the best Jurassic World experience possible. Increasing okay. our amenity coverage should do the trick. Keep an eye on our guest comfort numbers and get them where we'd like, and that is up. Restrooms. How do you need a restroom over here? The to oh right. Okay, so. We'll put a restroom, we'll pretend it's like a ticket booth or something. Yeah, that's what we can do. I always did that in the first game, because it was a decent size, actually. It'd be like, get your tickets here for, like, special passes or something. Okay, so now... Ah, so we need the Expedition Center, right. Do we have that? Yes, we do. What's, what's that? Oh, it's the... Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Okay, so we'll have space for this, plus one more hot plus a f we'll have this corner right here, like from this path here to um, a little path I'll put here. That'll be like power stations and everything, at least for, for here. 
that will keep us from going out of power. And what time is it? Okay, yeah, we haven't done much for at all yet. And we're almost at one star, which is good to see. We are still not making a profit on these two yet, which we could change. Let's see. Oh my god, Rexy, you are loud. Okay, so what do we need? Do we need a hotel? Let's see. We could try and... I know the hotels go over there, but this isn't their Jurassic World. We can we can put two right here. Yeah, and then if we put an enclosure on... Th that's a genius. We'll put another enclosure like... Maybe we could put Indominus... Oh my god, that is suicide, but that will be an amazing suicide. So, I just figured out where Indominus Rex is going to go when we get that. It's going on this side. It's like, you want bold and crazy? Come to this side and T-Rex. You want the fierce and untamable king, or in this case queen, because it was female, come to the in come to the left. Or if you're this way, it's the other way around, but you know, who cares? And we have hotels that'll be al allowing guests to view both parts of the T-Rex enclosure and this one, and then on this side it'll be the same except Indominus Rex. I like that. Now, what can we do? Do we have anything to excavate? Let's see, we got Ceratosaurus, that would be nice. Compies, of course. Velociraptor, I assume. Oh, no, Parasaur no Parasaurolophus, nice. What's here? Carno, that's a, that's a good one. I wanna get Para first, Nasuto. Apato, Serato, Edmonto, Draco, more Draco, Edmonto. Okay, so we're gonna get Parasaurolophus first, then I will probably do something else. And what can we research? Like, what dinosaurs can we get? Like, let's say aquatics, anything here. Because we are only gonna be able to have Mosasaurus, let's see, Mosasaurus, which is the first one. That makes sense. Plesiosaurus, Ichthyosaurus, Elasmosaurus, and Attenboroughsaurus. Okay, okay. What do we need to get? Construct an operational lagoon section. Okay, so that's all we have to do to unlock that guy. Dimorphodon and... Oh, Sungareptus you can unlock first. Okay, so two stars for the... For these two. That's nice. Pterandon, we'll just need these guys. Then three... Geostobergia and Tapijara. Okay, now Ceratopsians, what do we got? Triceratops is strangely unlocked. Oh, because it comes with other ones. It'll come with Triceratops, Sino, and Pachyrhino. Stego and Huayango and Ankylosaurus. And let's see, Galli. Let's see, that's Gallimimus. Is there no Struth? Struthiomimus isn't able to be. Oh, that's a shame. Pachycephalus. Hold the phone. Where's Stiggy? That's strange. You should have Stiggy. Alright, Brachiosaurus. Ooh, we just need 2.5. Three stars for Laura Titan, and then... Which one? Dreadnoughtus. Hmm. Oh yeah, it was technically in Jurassic World. Yeah, that makes that makes sense. Sorry. I was like, wait, what? Why is Dredo... Okay, so what do we need? Two stars for this... And the hatchery upgrade's only 1.5, we don't really need that. Okay, so, we'll just focus on getting these dinosaurs, which I'm pretty sure if we go into these guys, these guys should be fine with um, hatchers. Let's see, likes, compies, and ankylosaurids. Okay, it doesn't say whether or not it likes or dislikes paras, which is going to be tricky because it will count as a cohabitation violation in a little bit. But not if I get too many. Let's see. You guys, Comstignathids. Okay, so you guys do like Hadrosaurids, so we'll be fine. But both of you don't like Stegosaurids, which, you know, is kind of weird when you think about it, because didn't... Hold on, speed this up and just assemble that. Okay, so... Well, no, we'll need to speed up. Large hope large hotels able to be researched which we can get those when we go over here so I think what we'll do is we'll build the Indominus Rex enclosure next for like Ceratosaurus the reason why is because I don't want to build like an enclosure too far away from here just yet because we're not at like 
we're not big enough there yet. So what we'll do is we'll get Paras here first, then we'll get Serrata, we'll put them in the Indominus Rex enclosure for temporary time, and then maybe when we get Indominus Rex we can move them to another facility once we've expanded, because remember, we're going to have a ring of aviaries, which will probably be like a ring right here, a ring of lagoons, and then beyond this we'll have like a guest section in between that and an enclosure here, same with this side, and over down here, that's questionable. Or should we get Carnos? I'm thinking Carnos would probably be a better option than Serratos because they do have a higher rating. I'll check the cost for expeditions. Let's go. Serrato, where's the Serrato exhibit? Okay, so 80,000 there, and this one is 80,000 as well. And this one, 270. Okay. Let's see how much of power. If we have at least 50%, we'll go for it. Let's see. Oh, we'll need one more expedition to Paras first. We're able to get more power. Very good, very good. Okay, so we need all three. That's fine for now. But what do we need now? Ooh, whoa. Okay, so wow, we are really going crazy. That's, that's a good and bad. We might need to upgrade these. Not just yet. Okay, so shopping will go here. We'll do the reverse, because, yeah, shopping's there. So then in the middle, we'll stay drink, because it's fine there. Cause, and then we'll need a food here, which it's mostly over there. Let's see. Now, let's see. Okay, so they're going up a bit more. We'll probably, we, we will need some over here, like, hold on, I've got an idea. We'll delete this, and we will definitely first put a substation, and we'll probably get to Carno, and then we'll end it here. Don't worry, guys, I promise we will be continuing this, because so far I'm already having loads of fun, and we've barely done anything. Like, this, surprisingly, from this to San Diego and stuff, this has been the one I'm having more fun with already, and we've barely done anything. That's just, that's weird. I was thinking this would be the more boring of the ones, because it'd be so much like the first game I'd be used to it, but no, it works. All right, food is, let's see, which one's most needed here? Okay, we'll put this one closest, then we can put this one because it's the yeah we'll do it the ones that are needed more closer because that's the best tip that you guys should have for anyone who somehow hasn't already played this and then we don't need a toilet over here we'll just need a substation because we're gonna need it for um the viewing vent which will go over here and let's go to Oh, we got our expedition done. Okay, that was quick. Okay, so right here and path. Now let's go. Paris should be done, so we'll go for Carnos. Well, yeah, this, that, and then we'll go there. And then after we get Carno to 50%, we'll jump between them and get them both to mostly done. Now let's get some Carnotaurus. Some good old Coco, or Toro, you know, whichever name you prefer. You could like Toast from the Game Beaver, Toro from Jurassic World, or for my channel, guys, subscribe, and you'll get some Coco love. Also, I got a weird comment saying, why did I come up with Coco? And it, it was because I was trying to figure out a nickname for a dino, and, like, I didn't want to use Para because I already had a nickname, which was Bubbles, which I also use for Dilophosaurus. I have weird names, guys. Like, I named Indoraptor Rodrigo of all names. Like, the most deadliest of all of the hybrids, in my opinion, and stuff. What do I call him? I call him frickin' Rodrigo. Well, actually, Rodrigo. And if anyone's hearing this downstairs, they're all thinking, why did? Why is this our son? 
Ay, ay, ay. I, I have issues. Shelter coverage low. Where is shelter? Well, let's see. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why did this go? Okay, so it's just over here. How do we get these up? Can we even increase them? Hold on. How do we... Are we able to increase them? Configure. Let's increase the profit margins. Which one gives us more? This does, and it'll get them up. That one, and then... Okay, so the fish tank's the only one that's getting that into profits. Transmission coming. Almost one and a half stars, very good. Okay, so... Oh yeah, we need another bathroom over here. And we're gonna need... We're gonna need to start the main strip over here. Good god. These guys are crazy. Monorail. Good. That is awesome. We've got that ready to go. Which... Hold on. That might be where we're really lacking. Like... Oh no, we're, we're okay for now. We will need a monorail somewhere. Which I'm thinking we'll put probably two... One over... Probably over here. And then, like, it'll loop around. We'll put one on this side right over here. And then, you know, it'll expand to wherever we have guest areas of coals. So, 65, 74, what are we still missing? Maybe it's another hotel we need. We'll try another hotel because, like, as soon as we put that hotel, everything skyrocketed. So, we'll go... Come on, I... Saw the blue. Okay, we'll put you, and then we can decorate this later. Right in here, put some trees, some rocks, and... Oh yeah, we'll need to get more Carno, which I know we'll need more, so we'll go one more time. And we need to ret... Oh, we need the science facility. Hold on. We need to research. Please tell me that guy can research it. I know he's tired, but guest comfort. Nope, that's guest comfort. Uh, infrastructure. Thank God he can do it. My man, you deserve a rest after this. Plus, maybe a raise for just helping me out a little bit. And you're not getting a little too angry, so that's good. That works. Oh, yeah, we can't do the fossils, damn it. Wait, do we have hatchery? Okay, thank God I was going to be... Which, yeah, we'll need to put that over here as well. Come on, you can put... Nope, you're going over here then. The last of the viable candidates from Sorna are arriving. Let's get them settled in. The last... Whoa, 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 hold the phone. I thought there were way more, like... We got... These are all the ones from the Sorna mission. Okay, so we got... So we don't need to do Gallimimus just yet. Wait, are you not powered... Damn it, the power s supply is not enough. Okay, so we got Gallimimus coming. I know they're both comfortable with him. And if not, let's just double check. Gallimimus, are you okay with them? Doesn't matter to you. And Kylosaurus, what about you? Okay, you are s you're good with them. G oh, well, I just said give me two more minutes. That's fine, I will survive. And we need the science... We need the, uh, where is it? Staff center, we'll put one here. And we should be able to have two. We'll put one beside it later when we need it. And then we can rest our scientists for their hard work. Well, specifically just one of them. Okay, rest you. And then we will get the fossil team under work for car. Holy Jesus Christ, mate. Okay, well, they nailed it. Okay, so you, you, and you. And that's already 50%. My God, I nailed it on the expedition. Good work, Alan Grant. And after we make you, I guess we will wrap it up along with Parasaurolophus, which, speaking of which, we'll need to make some. Uh... Never mind, we can't make some, because our staff is busy. And we'll need to just get ready to place down 
eight Gallimimus. Well, at least it's a satisfying number. So let's go. Come on, all of you. Come in, you big old chickens. And then we'll need to get ready to scan one. Ranger, t you are visiting. Where are you? Okay, you're on your way. That's good. You'll be able to read them, at least. At least you should. I'm so preoccupied with another can. Oh, good. We're on the next... Species using the expedition center. This is a good idea. Someone once said. Well, we are already working on that. We've got Carnotaurus ready to be made and Paras, which we will be making both, and then we will be wrapping up this episode, unfortunately. I know the pain. I don't even want to go, but I have to, because I've got to record the Fallen Kingdom portion, and then I've got to edit one of these plus get them out and then go to bed. Because I've got work, which the Carnos are ready, and now let's just stop everything. Okay, can we make both? Yes, we can. So we'll start with Paras, which how many can they get in a batch? They can get six, which is fine. We'll do that. Okay, so we'll need to rest you. There you go. Alright, send you, and we'll rest the other scientists. Oh, hi, Nismo. Oh, I got to die. Come on, you can lie down. Come here. Come on. Sorry, I'm having to negotiate with my dog. There we go. Troubles of life. Alright, so the paras are being synthesized, and Carno's enclosure is done. And yeah, this is looking pretty good, all right. I mean, it looks a mess, kind of. It's so OCD and suing. And why are we making... Okay, I thought we were, like, in the panic zone for a second, but no, we're good. How are the chickens? Oh, they're 100%. But Triceratops, you guys are my worry. You were not checked because you were out of the border, damn it. Okay, so just check him, him, him. Just check them out. They shouldn't be mad because they're not like, they're not like big bullies or something. Imagine if they start killing. How much is the map to the- whoa, they have half this thing. Okay, so check them out and then you should be fine. Sign- let's see, how much does- okay, we got three. We'll need another batch. Carno, you'll have to wait. And... So we'll make that batch. Can we actually get you guys ready? Yes, we can. Okay, so what's your... Okay, so all of you will be thirsty. It's going to... That sh you should be fine. And that guy's a little going to be a little annoyed. I'm sorry, but we need to get these powers going. Then we can get Carno, which we can start work on that. Which we'll just add first a bit of water. Nothing too fancy. We'll need sand, which we will surround this whole thing with. Or actually, we'll do it like right around here. Patches here, and then sort of distances. A little opening over here. Basically, the openings will be where the sand is. So, and then we should be fine forced it up definitely around the viewing vent because I hate 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 when it looks like you know it's easy to see so we'll need different trees I want to put nope those aren't good these should be good yeah that'll be much better like thick it up that that's not right nope I'm having a, I'm having issues with this there we go forced around here there there, and there you go, a nice enclosure. And Paras, you should both be done, ready to go. Oh, we got five of these ones, nice. Although that is costing just a little bit of a penny. Just a little bit. Okay, that is going to disgruntle. Let's rest the other scientist guy, because we can't risk it being sabotaged just yet. And, wait. We can't tr okay, yeah, we can. we can. We got the research unlocked. 
Should we do... We'll do it for now. We'll, we'll research it. Yeah, we'll research, and then we can, you know, do them later. And then Karno will have to wait. And I think we should be able to bring these release via airlift, of course. And we'll bring them here. Transmission and lock. Yep, we're just crawling, and we've made about 60,000 more than we did last time. Oh, whoa, 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 hold the phone. Why are we so broke? Oh, it's because we got so many, um... Okay, so we need a lot of... We've got a lot of, um... What are they called? Okay, hold on. We need to research the luxury path, because those royalty people are just... Uh, what do we got here? Okay, so that increase wide, wide path, luxury standard path. Okay, so we'll do that. And then we'll get the monorail next, then the large hotel can wait. We don't need that for a while. But let's take a look at these paras. They are lonely, and they need ground nut. So, ground nut. They are feeling it over here, so let's go with this over here, and a little over there. Oh, nope, that's a little bit too greedy. Let's just cut that down, and let them spread out. They should be fine, and nope, we don't want to name these guys right now. I'll name them later. Cohabitation, what's the problem? Oh, they're all neutral. Okay, so we can't introduce any more species outside of these. That's fine. I can. S I think we'll be okay. We'll just need to check the Triceratops after we add these guys. If not, we can, we can give them another enclosure. That's no big deal. Let's check the Triceratops. They're the ones I need to make sure are... It's still in the... Okay. Ooh. Okay, so they're still good. Let's see. Parasaurolophus and Gallimimus... Wow. I thought it wouldn't... I thought it'd be annoyed, but no, it's okay. Now we need to work on the dangerous Carnotaurus, which we can have five of them. Oh my god, right. That's a... Well, we'll make sure to... We probably won't have too many of them. Let's go... Random... And we don't have any of these locked right because it's different. Save. And then we will just, you know, let him be the Carno he wants to be. And then we'll let that scientist rest. Thank you for showing me. No, no. Oh, my God. There are so many controls. Okay, so I'm going to speed through, get the Carno ready, and then, you know, let chaos ensue. Wait, where's the- oh my god, oh my god, I thought she was on the outside for a second, I was panicking. Okay, so, now how we doing? Oh, I know why they're all not in the profit, because these ones are here. Well, that one's not really doing anything, but once Carno's here, it should be fine. Maybe we could put a viewing vent, like, you know, over here as well, to sort of draw them towards here, even though we'll have them- Hmm, I don't know. It's questionable. Gallimimus, danger threat, one. Parasaurolophus, three. That's pretty good. Triceratops, four. And Kylosaurus is six. Hmm, that's debatable. Okay, oh. Carnos are synthesized, and we've got three. Are any of them bad? Okay, he is aggressive. And let's see, a 30% threat... And are these guys okay? We'll get these two, because, oh my god, yeah. We're just gonna get these two. The, the other one, I can't risk him breaking out. He's gonna be on Main Street, guys. Okay, you. And we'll rest the other scientist. And then, we just need to wait for them to be ready. And then, we've got some Carnos. And then, we are calling it for, well, this one. Which, yeah, we'll need to... Uh, add a, a. I think they need a meat feeder, so we'll just 
well, no, a live bait feeder. And, right, we need a gate. That's what I was forgetting. I was like, there's something missing. And we need an opening. No, we'll put it closer to here. Right here's fine. It can skim around. And enclosure. Let's go right here. And ranger team 2. Nope, nope, we don't need to do it ourselves, but we will need to refuel him, which, I gotta say, I do like the refueling. It's a really good feature, but it is such a pain, because, like, it's so quickly drained. Can't reach destination. Why? There's a gate. Hold on, let me see. Is it because there's buildings there? Try that. Is he going to start bolt bolting? Okay, there he... Nope. Where is he going? Oh, no. He's going there. Oh, wait. He's going to check there. And that's infected. Yeah, let's disinfect that first. You know, good idea. And the Carnos are ready. So let's release them via airlift. And that mission's done. What will be the next one for us to do? It's become clear I can't do Inc everything on my own. Well, it's been told to me anyway. Rather harsh than my bad. The point is, we need extra hands. Okay, so he's visiting. Fresh blood to the team. Meet Claire Deering. Oh, yes. Oh, no problem. Forward to us all working together to make Jurassic World all that it can and should be for our guests and our dinosaurs. Very good, you added the should. Task is to increase our guest count. Well, we need 150 more. I'm confident we can get this done. Visible dine. Okay, so accommodation rating is 100% and hookworms. So that was what was infecting the goats. We'll research that. Because I want to get the diseases dealt with before they can... Where is it? Hookworms, and then tuberculosis, and... Oh, thank God we don't have too many diseases. Okay, you. And then, can we get you, tuberculosis? I want to get them researched before they can start attacking me. That is the primary goal, and I don't think we can get this one. No, we can't. So we'll have to wait until later. But, we just need to wait for those Carnos to bolt over or at least this one which which one's this gonna be it looks green with a red top to it and that did well that disease research fast tuberculosis is ready and we will get what is this cryptosporidius so or whatever it's called and let's Okay, they're still researching it. It always makes me concerned when I see that. Come on. Ooh, it's an interesting one, I must say. He's lonely. How many... Okay, so he will need one more, thank God. Now, he does look interesting. A green with... I think it's a purplish red? I can't tell. If this was the daytime... Oh, looks like it's raining. We've got rain. Where's the other Carno? Oh, there we go. A more classic Carno, the orange. But it's turning to... Oh, they're doing the headbutt. Oh, nice. I haven't gotten to see that yet. Okay, we are almost at it. But we are going to have to leave this for the next video, which we will continue building Jurassic World to be the successful park it never was. Because, you know, people were caring more about hybrids or stuff, which... They will in this game as well, but, you know, that'll have to wait. And until the next video, guys, if you've enjoyed it, I would appreciate the like. And if you haven't already, do hit the subscribe button to join the hunt. Be safe. And until the next video, guys, where's Rexy? I want to say, say her one more time. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.